feel a very personal connection. I spent a lot of time crying and, and doing some trauma work on my own because there is secondary trauma, and especially for picturing those places, Rafa or Shati camp or the hospitals or all of these places that I've been, and it's seeing people pull from the rubble and knowing that my country is blocking all of the permanent ceasefire, all of the humanitarian aid getting in. My tax dollars are going to those bombs that are destroying blowing up families every day. And so we've been very active here trying to make that stop, trying to find a way at least for this one part of the world to stop the violence and also knowing that what's happening in Ukraine and Sudan, we're also, I'm very involved with those spaces as well with our activists, but this one is live streamed. And as you probably know, the most journalists in the world have uh, 169 of any conflict, even including World War II, have now been killed and targeted. Almost every church and mosque, every university has been blown up. There's no place for them to go back to school. Kids have left out a whole year of school. Now they're starving. They have no water. And so it's extremely heartbreaking, traumatizing, even not being there to watch and to understand what's happening.